Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have given a set S1, which is a subset of R2. So it is a collection of points which satisfy this condition x square plus y square is equal to 1. You know that this is the equation of circle with center origin and radius 1. Let us draw that circle. So that circle will be like this. Okay. <clears throat> Having radius 1. So the question is we have to check whether this set is compact and connected. Yes or no, that thing we have to find. Let us talk about compactness first. Okay. So this concept we have already seen in previous semester. But I will tell you the simple technique to check the given set is compact or not in a Euclidean metric. So the condition is if the given set is close and bounded, 101% it is compact. Let us check this set is close and bounded or not. See, S1, S1 is close. Okay, it is close, I will say, since it contains the points which lie on a circle. Getting how to prove the set is close. If its complement is open, we say the set is close. Its complement will be interior part of a circle and exterior part of a circle since it contains only boundary points. Interior part, it's open ball. So that's why it is open set. If you talk about exterior part, then also it is an open set. For arbitrary union of open set is open. So that's why its complement will be open. And that's why complement is open. That's why this set is closed. Okay. So therefore we say S1 is closed. So let us talk about it is bounded or not. It is 101% bounded. Since we have a fixed radius, radius 1, no point of that set will not go away from this radius 1. Getting so that's why 101% it is bounded. It's closed and bounded subset of subset of R2. It is closed and bounded subset of R2, obviously with Euclidean distance. That's why if it is closed and bounded both, then we can easily declare it is compact. So that's why therefore S1 is compact. Okay. So what is our first answer? Yes, it is compact. Let us talk about it is connected or not. This thing we have already seen in previous video. video. Okay. So you can go and watch that video. You can easily get entire explanation. But in short, we will revise those things. Here, the proof is little bit constructive. That means what we are going to do, we are going to define one function, okay, on closed interval 0 to 2 pi function f. In this way, I will mention here f defined from closed interval 0 to 2 pi to s uh, r2 as f of t is equal to cos t comma sin t, okay. So, this is a function we have. What is component x? cos t what is y component sin t so x square plus y square that means cos square plus sin square is 1 so that means this set okay cos t and sin t satisfy this condition second thing this function is clearly continuous okay this set close interval 0 to 2 pi is an interval and we know that in r every interval is a connected set it is connected function is continuous continuous image of connected set is connected so that's why this set s1 is connected okay so s1 is also connected so answer is yes see in previous video i have already explained why we can say this s1 is connected in r2 so in short i have covered this part okay so if you want you can watch the previous video you will get a entire explanation so that's why our answer is this set is both compact and connected okay we will stop here thank you bye bye